the people who would be naturally attracted to your form are people who are against fracking, but it's a form that should be watched by people who probably are pro-fracking as well, if nothing else, just to have their minds open up a little bit more for other considerations. Because the, the thing about documentaries is that they're always shot from the vantage point of whoever's producing it, whoever's directing it. And you have to concede that this is your view, your experience. It's, it's documented over four continents, 400 interviews, and it's much appreciated. But there could very well be another Jolene out there who may present a more positive, um, I suppose, advocacy for fracking. Absolutely, and, and you, you, I know it doesn't. Sh I mean, I said it, it follows my journey, and the, you know how I was quite optimistic about in the beginning, and it doesn't shy away from the the career where I grew up, and I understand the levels of poverty and the fact that it, the place desperately needs development. I also understand that South Africa desperately needs to address its energy crisis. Um, so you know, I know it is, it's way more nuanced, it's way more complex. I think it's quite interesting when you make a film about fracking, people assume that you're an environmentalist or people assume that you're anti-fracking. And, and are, you, are you an environmentalist? I'm a journalist seeking to get to the bottom of stories that matter. And I think fracking is a huge story that matters to us right now because it comes at a time where the world and South Africa is at a crossroads and we're having to make really big decisions about the direction that we want to move, in or move forward in. Um, so I think, you know, if there's another journalist out there making another film, Absolutely. I'm, I by no means think that this is going to be the only voice in the room, and, I, and that's not what I want it to be. I know it's, it's here to, to start conversations. It's here to get young people talking about South Africa's energy future and future at large. It's, it's the film's far bigger than just the fracking the fracking issue, at, you know, which is the departure point, of course. But it ends at, at major questions about um, development, but at what cost? And are we being a part of the decisions that are being made by our, our government today? And if not, then have we got any reason to complain? And the political will for governments across the world to really listen to the people and to respect that we want long-term responsible energy solutions to the problems that we're facing.